Hey guys, Sock here from Sock eTech, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a Samsung exclusive application for your Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus that allows you to do cool things like this. If I swipe down, it brings up a secret menu that allows me to take screenshots if I want to, or uh, if I want to, I can change the brightness or change the volume and even play music right from here along with all these other toggles. So let's dive in and discover what I'm talking about. So what I can do with this application is I can swipe diagonally downwards from the side over here, all right, just like that and bring up a secret menu. Uh, I can also, what I can do is I can swipe to the right to launch any application that I want or I can swipe diagonally upwards to swipe another application that I set, okay? You can do the same thing from this side as well. So that's all fantastic. Now let me show you where to get this app and how to set it up because it can be overwhelming if you grab it for the first time. So this thing is known as the One Handed Operation Plus. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your finder and search for Galaxy Store. Okay, you go to Galaxy Store and from the Galaxy Store you simply search for One Handed Operation Plus. As you can see, just type this in the search bar, then you search for that and go right inside and you're gonna be installing that. Now once it's installed, I'm gonna have you guys open it. Now of course when you install something here, by the way, just to be very clear, you cannot find this in the Play Store. This is a Samsung application. As you can see, it is actually made by Samsung Electronics. So when you go home, you can go back to your finder search, you can tap on search and just type in one-handed Operation Plus is gonna show up right here and you launch it right away. All right, so let's talk about this amazing application. The first thing I want you guys to understand is you have a left handle, which you can see right here as a preview, and you have a right handle, which you can see the blue handle right over here. And of course, what you can do is you can change the size of these things and change the transparency and all that stuff. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. So let's first talk about the left handle, how to set it up and how to use it. So first, you have to enable it. So if I disable it, it disappears. If I enable it, it shows up right here. This is the left handle. Now when you go home, you're not gonna see the left handle. It's gonna be invisible. You're just gonna know it's right here because you set it up that way, okay? So when I swipe through it, it's gonna bring up all those things. So let me go back inside. Now I'm gonna click on the left handle and now we're focused on the left handle. Now over here, we have a short, straight, right swipe, which is this one, okay? Which is gonna launch the calculator because that's what I set it up to be. So when I tap on this one, as you can see, you have all these available swipe actions, but I went all the way down, I went to start an application, and I in fact picked a calculator application because it's something I use all the time. Now the diagonal up, which is this one, okay, is gonna launch another application. Now when I click on this, again, I went all the way down, I went to start application, and then I chose the home application that I use all the time right over here. Okay, so that's how you set this up. Now with the diagonal down, what I did was, I chose the quick tools option. So this is the quick tools right here. And of course, even the quick tools itself is fully customizable. If I click on this, I can add more options or remove options I don't want. So if I pull this up, You'll see that there's a flashlight option here. When I click this, it turns on the flashlight. When I tap on this, it takes a screenshot. So I have all these options that I can actually add and remove from here. If I wanna remove a setting, I just click X, all right? So now the Wi-Fi is gone, as you can see. And if I wanna add any, any uh, toggle, I can go here and I can choose to do so from here. I can even put the night mode over here. I can have the night mode right there. So if I pull this down, you'll see the night mode at the, at the bottom corner. You can add even more, uh, as many as you want actually. And I can even do a split screen. And now if I pull it down, I have a new row and I can add more and more and more. So this is fantastic. You got the brightness slider, you got the volume, you can bring down the notifications panel and all that good stuff uh, with the quick tools option that you can add to diagonal down. Now, let's to be very clear, you can add that to diagonal up or also swipe to the right. So I can have this just like that as well. So I can do it like this or I can do it like this, all right? And if I'm outside, it's gonna be invisible, that bar, but I can still do it no problem. So that thing is fully customizable. That's the left handle. Now one thing, you can customize the area that the left handle covers on the screen. Right now it covers only this area. 
so I can't use it over here. It goes to Bixby, all right? So if you want to um, expand it, you just go like this. You can position it low or high, or you can make it large, which is going to take the entire screen, or you can do it small. Now, I like to do it like this because what I have over here is my edge screen, so I want to keep the edge screen separate from the left handle for the one-handed operation plus. So that's the left handle. I'm going to talk about what the long swipe is all about. Let's quickly take a look at the right handle. So when I, when I tap on right handle, now we're looking at this guy right over here, okay? And again, you can expand the size of the right handle and you can assign all these options to it. So right now the straight left uh, has none assigned to it. So if I go like this, nothing happens, all right? If I tap this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to start application. Let's pick another application. Let me just pick calendar application. Now, when I do a straight left, boom, it launches the calendar. All right. Uh, let's go back and diagonal up. It says none. So I'm going to let's go back here. Let's just assign something. Let's just say uh, the clock application. So now when I do a diagonal up, it's going to launch the clock application. And you can do the same thing with this one. With this one, I like to have the power key menu. So when I go like this, I can actually turn off the phone without having to press any buttons or go to the notifications panel and tap this button. I can just boom, swipe it down from the home screen, boom, and I'm right inside my power menu. And again, everything is invisible, all right? So that's the right handle. And again, let's talk about the long swipe. Not only can you uh, assign short swipes, meaning you just go like this real quick, which is going to launch these, you can also do a long swipe. So let me uh, do it like this. Let's make everything very clean over here. Let's do none and none. So I'm going to keep the power key menu for diagonal down for the short swipe. But for the long swipe, what I'm going to do is let's uh, kill all these guys. None, none. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just go to the task switcher. Task switcher is this thing right here. Okay. So with this one here, if I go like this, it's going to bring up the power menu. But if I do a long swipe, okay, it's going to bring up the task switcher, which in this case looks different. It's the same thing as this one right over here, but you get a different view, okay? So I can see all the tasks. Oops, that was a short swipe. Let's do a long swipe. Now I can switch between all these applications just as if I was doing it from here, all right? So let's go back inside, that's a long swipe. Now I like to keep it simple, so I just do the short swipe for the right handle and the left handle, and you can do the same thing with the left handle over here. You can do a long swipe and assign all these uh, canned contacts. All right, and you can also remember, you can change the transparency of these things uh, right over here, okay? Now this transparency applies to the actual handles. You can actually, if you wanna see the handles, you can actually have them right here. You can see the handles. So that's great as well. So let's do the same thing with the right handle so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. So transparency, boom. So we have one right over here, one right over here, if that's the way you like it. Now let me go back inside that application. You can also do align handle. So when I click align handles, it's going to make sure both handles are the same exact size. So if I change the size, it changes them both, and when I change the position, it changes both of them and their positions. When I go back out, you'll see them both on the corner here. So this kind of customization is absolutely crazy and only available on Samsung smartphones. This just blows my mind away. But that is the uh, one-handed operation plus, one-hand operation plus. By the way, you do have advanced settings, so if I tap on advanced settings, I can even add exceptions. So if I tap on app exceptions, when you are inside one of these applications that I enable, it's going to disable these options, all right? So you can do that for games because when you're playing games, you're swiping all over the place. You can disable these sidebars so they don't work uh, when you're in certain applications that you want to enable just like that. So you can enable all of these and then these handles will only work in the home screen, all righty? So let's go back here. You have all these advanced settings you can change uh, with. Now, the one thing that I like is uh, S Pen gestures are enabled. So I can actually access these one-handed swipes with my S Pen if I have this enabled. So let me pull out the S Pen. So right here, so now I can actually use the S Pen to do the same thing, okay? But if I had this disabled, 
I will not be able to use the S Pen as you can see. When I have it enabled, I can use the actual S Pen uh, to perform those operations as you can see. Another great feature is uh, the fit to keyboard. So if the keyboard pops up and it's large and it takes this entire area, then the handles automatically resize so they don't take, they don't uh, intrude on your actual keyboard. So that's smart. And then you have all these options, hide and quick panel, hide on lock screen. So that's smart. So when I go like this, when I pull this down, they're not gonna be available as you can see, okay? Because the whole thing is so customizable, so personalizable that you're gonna love it. All right, so if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For now, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.